points I want to make here before I go to bed. Because I was trying to go in there. I turned on the radio. You ever heard Feet of Pain's Band of Gold? It's a good song. It's one of my favorites. Um, is it Feet of Pain, the one that was married to Gregory uh, Abbott? Gregory Abbott, yeah. You in my mind, girl, I want to shake you down. And, and yeah, since you've been gone, all that's left is a band of gold. Free to paint, good song. And then, of course, after that, now I'm um, uh, Billy Joel's um, Just the Way You Are, which is a song he wasn't really that down with, but became one of his biggest hits, you know. And I really liked it. It's one of my favorites of his. I love this. Because it's a flip side kind of thing, you know, just filler on an album, but it's a really good song. Um, it's a really, really good song. Absolutely excellent. Well, I like it a lot. Don't li I know a lot of y'all do because it's a very popular song, right? All right, but just the way you are, you also sometimes you have to see it as a thing. Is like you have to consider the source. Like all those people that remark on my stuff on YouTube with a name like, what was it? Fancy, Stassy, Sad. I don't know what the fuck they names is. <laughs> you know? The cool thing I like about Dylan Posse music is he goes by Dylan, his name's Dylan, and he shows himself, you know. He doesn't have his uh, name or his picture on his on his um, Facebook uh, thing and everything like that, so you can see his face when he makes comments and stuff. But when you go to his thing, he has, you know, he has videos of him, and you see him, and you connect to him, and you get the real deal, man. That's why I call him the real deal. Yeah, the real Dylan. He, he, he's, he'll, he's in your face. He'll get in your face. He'll talk to you, you know. He'll, he's got balls, you know, but the rest of you people, fuck. <laughs> no, man, I just consider the source when you sit there. You're mentally, dis you're, you show you're psychologically disturbed and have it might be mentally ill with the things that you talk about. It's like, what do I talk about that's mentally ill or social, physically? Okay, do I want to go mass murder people over the resources? Do I accept extortion-based economies that mass murder people for the resources? And then try to justify it through some kind of legal means that gives more value to uh, material possessions and artificially uh, placed value on things that we uh, destroy our environment for and barter for each other and, 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 and at the expense of human lives? You do. You accept it without fucking question. Then you have the balls to sit there and write down in written work, I think you're psychologically disturbed and mentally ill. You know what? Considering the fucking source and just the way you are, I fucking appreciate the fact that you think I'm as fucked up as you, but I'm not. I'm glad that you are the parameter of my thinking, you thinking that my thinking is fucked up, because that shows me that I'm not fucked up and that a fucked up moron is trying to evaluate me on what's mentally fucking healthy. <laughs> you stupid fuck. And then you sit there and get on religious people because a lot of them, there's a lot of religious people, just because you attack all the right wing extremists, that, like Danny said, that have kidnapped Jesus and turned him into the president of the gun club and the irrational based mass murder society that's justified through legal means because they have more money and can get a big grumpy group of people that believe written laws that are irrational doesn't mean that those are religious people. It means that they're just a bunch of people that have kidnapped and hijacked my uncles and their family teachings and their mathematical proofs that they don't live indeed, so they're just not very rational or lucid. Okay? Do not, like that beautiful lady that came to spoke, speak with me in Sierra Vista, one of my friend's wives, she came in, she came in by herself, okay, in a hip job by herself to the store to buy kids' school supplies for her children and sat there and had about a half an hour conversation with me as a male and a human being and an American and not a professed uh, Muslim by faith solely, but a person who is Muslim by deed and of universal understanding of God's faith and God's universalness that I am a Muslim and I practice Islam by trying to understand that we can submit to peace through faith in God and practicing the Lord's Prayer and living that prayer and understanding the tenets of faith that say that we should be the most faithful, loving, imperfect, trying our best to be the most beautiful people that we can through God's grace. Okay, so that, yeah, it is. So she sits and she talks to me and she says, Islam means peace. And do not please mistake me with those men that murder in the name of God as them being Muslims. They are not Muslims, okay? Just like those people that call themselves Christians that will murder in the name of God and try to justify it on paper are not Christians, okay? 
they are Christians in name only. <laughs> like the lady in me talked to the library today. She goes, no, Jesus said some of them are not. They're not Christians. They're, they're creatures. It's that they've created themselves into a creature. But we're all God's creation. We're all God's children. You know. But they're not. They are. They just forget. It's a blindness. It's a stupidity. It's an insanity that does not see the life of God in you and me and didn't see it in Jesus in this. Therefore, they all got together to try to violently silence his truth. And then they all say, he had to die to show us the truth. No, he didn't. You had to kill him to see the truth. It was your deed that did it, not his. He spoke the truth, and you hated him, just like you guys do me. We hate you, Ralph. You never give us a break. Just when we think we're going to be friends with you, you make us give us something new to hate you. Well, it's just the way you are. Okay? So I have to love you just the way you are. So I'm, you're going to have to learn to love me just the way I are. You want me to be what you want? I can't do that. No, I got to be me. All right? So um, if you don't love me just the way I am, and I love you just the way you are, then you're just going to have to continue to hate me during this ass whooping that will cease when I die, but it will probably still continue after I'm dead because this is all on the Internet and all on the World Wide Web, the interweb. No one watches your stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, no one watches my stuff. Um, I, I think that the, the, the CIA watches my stuff, don't you? I think that uh, I think that um, people in big business watch my stuff, don't you? I think that I don't know. Did you like the one Russell? You know when he liked on my thing. Like I'm sitting there saying, you know, a big business and government, big government and big business knows who you are, <laughs> especially when you're someone like me. When you're more intelligent than they are, when you're more courageous than they are, when you're a, a more person of more amazing, beautiful, loving faith than they are, that makes them look like a faithless, spineless piece of shit. They know who you are, all right? They know who I am. And if you're somebody, and you think you're somebody in this world, and you have the audacity to think you're somebody, and you don't know who I am, then you're nobody. Because you haven't been anointed yet, and you haven't discovered that you are a Christian that can submit to Islam and protect the Israelites, and become true Rastafari. And if you cannot comprehend and understand this, and enlighten yourself, and be the Buddha, and understand the unification of the Hindu, and understand the relativeness of us all, and the infinite, uh, infiniteness of the life source that provides the life for us all, then you are nobody, and I will enlighten you, I will annoy you, and you will reject it, because you will accept the fact that you are nobody. Then if you're nobody, then nobody needs to know who you were, and no one will remember who you were. Unless, of course, somebody mentioned you or you're mentioned in doing something heinous to that somebody. Like me and somebody talked the other day about me. I was like, the only reason people know about Caiaphas and Herod and Pilate is because they got together with a bunch of people that wanted to silence somebody. Otherwise, they'd just be a foot, they wouldn't even be a footnote in history. They'd be nobodies. If it wasn't for Jesus of Nazareth, you wouldn't know who the governor of Judea, which was the armpit of the great empire of Rome. And it says in that one lady, that was a real point in fact on part on that book, which was real cool. Um, the you know the, at the beginning of this gospel, and they talk about it. I it's Malachi or I get Matthew or something. You know, she sits there and goes, and you know Caesar decided there will be a tax on all the world, and then here comes Jesus. <laughs> Boom. You're going to tax us all to live here. You're going to charge us to all extortion to live here. And the, world, and, and the Lord spoke. And then there was a Messiah. And there was the Word. We should not be extorted to live on planet Earth. We were all planted, promised a place on Earth and promised land by the mere grace of our birth. We are all God's creation. And if you can't see that in me, then you can't see it in yourself, and you are a bastard. All right, guys, and it's just the way you are. You might want to think about changing. All right, I'll see you in the morning. You are one ass-kicking motherfucker fool. You, hey, hey, I pick up from from relative family connections. They like, don't get off, man. Keep going, boy. Go, go, come on, Ralph. Go, you go, kick that ass, dog. <laughs> I'm going, man. I'm there. I'm there. I ain't gonna get off of them. I ain't gonna get off. Cause I told you, man. 
when I have my conversations and I connect to Jesus as I know Jesus, you will be successful at helping bring the kingdom or you will die trying. And Ralph's reply, we're going to die anyway. There's your incentive, bro. Keep going. All right, man. It's worth it. The children being delivered from this ridiculous indebtedness of extortion-based economies and the trespass of it. The fulfillment of the Lord's Prayer is too special and too important to me. It's based on mathematics, scientific, reasonable principles that go beyond. We shouldn't have to sit out and debate this stupid, stupid stupidity anymore. We're, this is beneath us as human beings and as a highly evolved species. We're, until we learn to evolve as a species and have real value-based faith, reasonable and understanding intellectual uh, interaction, you know what I'm saying? So you can show up anytime you want. I know you don't like the way I talk. I don't get into all that. Yeah, I'm not going to go into a long, uh, uh, you know, Al Kinsey dissertation about sexuality and about this and that and divorcing myself from it, stuff like that. I'm a lover, man. I love greatly and deeply. And I cry and I suffer. And then I have stories where I'm just so strong where it's like, I don't care what you do to us, and I don't care what you do to me. I'll rip through your entire soul and tear it out and throw it on a fence until you come back to get it and pick it up, and I'll help you put it back together again. I can do anything I want. I can be anything I want to be and die in the process, but my spirit will live through others. I can do whatever I want to do once I set my heart, mind, body, and soul to do it. And even if I die in the process... At least I attempted with great courage of faith. All right? Don't you think you got some of this in you? Or are you just going to keep on lying and hiding and crying? Is that just the way you are? I don't believe it. Blessings and peace.